Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I've got five magical mermaid nail art designs to share with you. You could use these individually as an accent nail on a set of nails or you could use them as a full set. So if you want to see how to create all five of these designs, then just keep watching. So I'm going to be using the new Dixie Plates Mermaid and Unicorns 01 stamping plate. This is currently a new release and it is so amazing and magical. I'm in love with it. I will also be creating another set of five designs with the unicorn images on this plate later on in the week. In this video I will be using the Dixie Plates Crystal Tip Holder. It has yet to be released but keep an eye out because it will be out soon and it is perfect for practicing nail art on. So this is the nail art design we're starting with first and I'm going in with Magpie Gel Colour Plain Jane. I'm applying one coat of this to the nail and curing in my lamp for 60 seconds. Going in with Magpie Glitter Angelica and I'm using the Magpie applicator brush to dab this in to that inhibition layer. I am not burnishing this, I just want to dab it in so I get a full coating and coverage of that glitter. I will then use my Magpie duster brush to just dust off any excess glitter around the cuticle area and the free edge and side walls and just get any of those loose bits off before top coating one layer of top coat and curing in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to be using my Dixie Diamond Duo Stamper from Dixie Plates as well as the Scraper and then the stamping polish I'm using is Hit The Bottle Tipsy Grasshopper. So I'm going to be using this fish scale image that's on the top left hand side of the plate. I like this one, it's slightly quirky, it's got all the little lines in between each fish scale which I think looks really funky. So there you have it, that is the first design, really super easy but super sparkly and beautiful to achieve. So I'm just going in with a top coat to finish off that nail and then we'll be moving on to the next design. For this design we will be using Magpie Gel Colour Genie in a Bottle and I'm going to apply one layer of this to the nail and we'll be leaving this wet because then we will be going in with the Magpie Glitter Angelica and sprinkling it into that wet layer of gel. After I've done that I will cure in my lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds and then use the duster brush to dust off any excess glitter particles and then apply a layer of top coat, apply it more floaty to really seal in that glitter. Then I'm going to be using the Magic Touch Stamper from Dixie Plates and Blueberry Dew Drops Stamping Polish from Hit The Bottle. Using my scraper to scrape away that excess polish, picking up that image with a flick of the wrist and then using my scraper to get rid of any of those little bits of polish that I don't want to transfer onto the nail and placing that down holding for a few seconds and then I'm going to repeat that again for another three more starfish to apply to the bottom of the nail. So after I've done that I'm going in with another layer of top coat to seal in that design. So next image is the mermaid tails, which I love this image on the stamping plate. We're going to be using Magpie Gel Life of Riley and applying one layer of this to the nail and curing for 60 seconds. Then we're going to be going in with Magpie Don't Be Tacky, which is their chroming no wipe top coat and I'm applying one layer of this letting it self level for about 30 seconds and then popping it into my lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds. Then using Pandora Chrome Dust from Magpie Beauty and a silicone tool I'm going to be rubbing this in quite harshly, you can apply a lot of pressure when you're doing this method and chroming that dust up to a nice high shine. Going in with top coat and sealing that chrome in, you don't have to do this but if you tend to make mistakes with stamping it's good to protect that chrome. So I'm going to be using Hit The Bottle Stamping Polish in the colour Snowed In which is white, applying it to that fish tail image and then applying to the design. Going in with the second layer of top coat and this nail design is complete and just a little appreciation for that Magpie Dust Pandora, it's absolutely beautiful. 
super excited to show you this design it was my favorite out of the five so i'm using that blue gel polish on the right hand side and then i'll be painting on the left the white gel polish from magpie leaving these uncured and then i'm going to be using this random brush i don't know where it's from but it's the one i use for doing ombres and just blending the two colors by swiping my brush down the nail and it blends beautifully. I'm then gonna cure that for 60 seconds and go in with the second layer and repeat that method again. So using my brush to blend, and as we're putting chrome on top, I don't feel the need to make that blend perfect. If you were doing this without chrome, I would suggest going in with a third layer to get that blend absolutely pristine. So now going in with Magpie Beauty Don't Be Tacky Chrome Top Coat, waiting for it to settle a little bit and then curing in the lamp for 60 seconds. I will then be going in with my silicone tool and that Magpie Dust Pandora and chroming that on the nail. You can apply again quite a lot of pressure with this to really bring up that perfect chrome. I will then be sealing that in with top coat and curing for a full cure. Now going in with the stamping design, we're going back in with the white stamping polish and picking up this top left scale image and applying this to the nail. You can do a layered method with the top row of images on this plate to build up a funky multicoloured scale design, but I just wanted the outline because I am now going to go in with some top coat, leave it uncured using my Magpie Detail Nail Art Brush and I'm going to drop in some of that Angelica glitter from Magpie into some of the gaps where the scales are. You could do this in every single scale but I decided to do it in random ones. I think it gave it a really funky cool effect with the multicoloured glitter particles and then you've got the ombre underneath with the chrome on top. It builds up a really multi-layered textural design and I love it. So there you go, another little appreciation to the Magpie dust and glitter. So the last one is this cutesy little mermaid, she is stunning, so I'm going in with one layer of Magpie Beauty Plain Jane Gel Polish and I'm going to be using Hit The Bottle Stamping Polish in looking for Mr Grey. So I'm just using this stamping polish to have the outline of the mermaid because I'm then going to be going in with the same stamping polishes we've been using in this video to fill in areas. So I'm using the teal to fill in her tail and her little bralette and her pendant on her necklace and I'm just constantly checking through the other side to make sure I'm filling in all the correct gaps and it's looking like a good image and then I'm going to be using Hit The Bottle Stamping Polish Lemon Meringue Fizz and using this pastel yellow to fill in her hair area. For the skin I'm going to mix up a concoction using Bubblegum Bliss from Hit The Bottle Stamping Polish, the same yellow we've been using and also the white stamping polish. Mix them all up together to create a nice pinchy skin tone colour and then I'm going to be filling in what's left which is her face, neck and body. And then right at the end I'm just going to flip it round make sure I'm happy with the design wait for a good 30 seconds for this to dry a little bit and then hold it on the nail for a good another 30 seconds to make sure it's attached properly and you should have a perfect little image. You can always go in and touch up before you apply the top coat if there's anywhere you want to. I went in and made the eyes and the mouth a little bit darker. So then going in with some top coat and we're going to use the same method as we did with the fish scales in the mini tutorial before and I'm just going to drop some of that Angelica glitter into her tail and her little bralette to give a little sparkle and a pop of shine and then go in with my second layer of top coat to seal in that image so there you have it there are all five designs completed i really enjoyed creating these magical mermaid nail art designs for you guys i can't wait to try some of these designs out on my clients so don't forget to follow me on instagram isabel may nails so you can check out some of my nail art work on my clients and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more i will be posting the unicorn part two to this video up soon on my channel so stay tuned for that thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye